guys, Ryan here. I'm gonna shoot a video to go over how to launch a product with a chatbot. I think it's one of the more basic topics that everybody should know how to do um, in 2018 as of time I'm shooting this video. Uh, so I really wanted to put out a free resource to get you guys started. And you know, if you need any help with it, uh, you need more advanced um, coverage of this sort of topic, uh, you know, go to my group, join my private training group. Uh, that's the best way to do that, but uh, this should get you started on the right foot. So. Uh, let me get started with this training as I'm sitting here in Starbucks drinking my new um, nitro cold brew thing that they just invented today. So, uh, ready to go. Let's do it. So as you can see here, I'm currently logged into my ManyChat Pro account. Um, I actually pay, I think it's $15 a month right now. This is just my, uh, my personal brand for the course and um, my Facebook group and everything. Um, I, I'm going to use this to run the demo for you guys and show you how to set up your growth tool. So in the back end, uh, you go to first, you go to growth tools, and then you click new growth tool. You have a lot of options here. I'm going to show you the two that I think are best for launching products. So the first one here is um, the Facebook ads JSON. JSON stands for JavaScript object notation. Uh, you don't really need to know that, but what you do is you create a code, and then you take that code over to your Facebook ad, and you insert it into your Facebook ad. Um, I think this is probably the most um, effective way to, to run these as of today. Um, the second most effective way would be Facebook comments. Uh, I've, seen, I've seen the Facebook comment um, engagement go down quite a bit recently. I think people are sort of getting used to um, companies asking them to leave comments and engage with their posts, and it's becoming less effective. Um, so I'm seeing pretty good results with JSON. So this is what I'm going to show you guys how to do today. So first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to name this um, something. For this example, I am going to be promoting um, this product, which is not mine. It is a lavender essential oil made by this company here, um, Barg's Oils. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to click here and we're going to type oil lavender launch. Okay, we're going to click JSON. Okay, now what this does is this is what's going to appear when somebody opts into your um, your JSON ad. So when they click the ad on Facebook, this message is actually going to be sent to their inbox. So uh, we don't we don't like this default message. We're going to change this. So you go here, you click edit. Okay. So this isn't this isn't a very good message. I would delete this whole thing. What I would do is I would say, "Hi there," and then you click this button here. It'll actually insert their first name dynamically into the message. So what I did was I inserted their names so it looks more personal, it's more likely to get clicked and opened. I told them what they're going to get, um, what product this, is, this works for, and where they have to buy it. I also introduced a little bit of scarcity to increase the likelihood that they're going to take action. Um, scarcity is incredibly important in your marketing efforts because if you don't put scarcity into your, your marketing messages, people will procrastinate and then they'll just forget about your offer. So if you've caught their attention with the message, you really need to do whatever you can to let them know. They need to take action on this now. Okay, so this is what I did. So the button title, um, this is a button that they're going to click within Messenger. And um, you can choose to have this button do several different things, but for our purposes, what we're, we're going to do is have this button pull a unique coupon code for this person. And it's possible to do that with chatbots if you use a little bit of a trickery with uh, Zapier, which I'm going to go into after this. But for now, we're just going to say, um, yes, I am. Okay, so by doing these two options, yes I am and no code for me, people aren't very likely to click no code for me because they just expressed interest. Um, you're going to actually increase uh, the likelihood that they're going to click the button if you have two options, I think, um, in general. So yes I am, the next op uh, the action that you're going to do is have this send them a message. Um, it's important that 
you do it this way because um, I'm going to go over a little trick that you have to use to actually get the unique coupon codes to get pulled properly. So make sure you're paying attention to this. What you're going to do is you're going to put a delay in here of eight seconds. And this, the reason I put an eight second delay is when Zapier, um, the tool that we're going to use to pull the unique coupon code does its work, it takes a couple of seconds. If you don't put the delay, it might not work properly. So what we're going to do is put that delay in. Then we're going to say, awesome. I have pulled your unique coupon code. This is where you're going to insert your code. You're going to you're going to use um, what is called a custom field to insert a unique coupon code. So um, I did a, a video where I ran through this once before for my students, um, and I I did it for a dog collar. So I'm just going to use this this field as an example. This is where the unique coupon code will be stored for this particular um, subscriber. So what you do is you say, "Awesome, I've pulled your unique coupon code first name." It makes them feel like it's actually pers unique to them. To use your code, please copy this to your clipboard. Um, I think I would actually say, please highlight and copy this to your clipboard. You have to be as explicit as you can because people do not um, have an easy time figuring things out, as you will find when you start running ads. So there it is. So this is something I've been experimenting with a little bit more recently. Um, getting them to do things in, in parts, like separating out the actions is, uh, to as small of an action as you can because it's hard to get people to do several things um, in order. It's easier to get them to do one thing at a time. So the first thing I want to get them to do is copy the code. So I say click the button below when you have copied your code. Um, so this is about um, as good as you could do this. And then they're going to click OK, I have it. Then after this, you're going to send another message. I'm just kind of doing the work um, live on camera so you guys can see uh, my thought process as I go through this. Um, for the URL here, you have a lot of options for the URL that you can use. You can direct link, which I wouldn't um, suggest generally. You can use um, a URL rotator, like one that's created by Zon Pages, for example, that will actually um, rotate in several different um, types of URLs and keywords. So, um, you know, if you're doing a keyword ranking campaign, which you probably are, um, I would suggest using um, a storefront or a brand page URL. Zon Pages has a tool that will help you create those if you don't know how to do that. Um, so for, for now, I'm just going to put I'm just going to put Amazon.com um, because uh, you guys know what the product is. I can actually just paste this exact URL um, just for the sake of the example here. Okay, um, button buy on Amazon. Okay, and one other thing that I like to add to these typically is I like to add a um, downward pointing finger to point to the button to show them where they need to click. So I don't actually know how to make that code, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Google and I'm going to search downward pointing finger emoji. So this is how you can make emojis really quickly, just copy them and paste them into your ads like this. All right, so that's about all you need to do for the basics of setting up um, a, a launch using a JSON ad. Um, the one thing that you probably are noticing that we're missing is I didn't show you how to install this and I didn't show you how to pull the unique coupon codes. So the next part of this video, I'm gonna actually show you where you install this code and how you install it, okay? If you wanna know how to 
pull the unique coupon code and send it in that previous message here that I, um, I went over, you're going to need to download my PDF guide that I actually wrote. Um, it's, it's pretty complex and it would take me, um, you know, 20, 30 minutes to go over it by video. So please do download that guide. Um, I should have a link to it um, below this video or within the description of this video, wherever you're seeing it, whether it's on YouTube or Facebook. So let me just publish this and then I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to show you how to install this JSON ad on Facebook. Okay, so I'm back at the main menu for the uh, JSON ad uh, growth tool. What you're going to do is you're going to click setup. This is the code that you need to use for your um, JavaScript object notation code. So you're going to copy this to your clipboard and you're going to actually use this code within your Facebook ad. There's a place that you need to put it and I'm going to show you where that is. Give me a moment to go over to Facebook. Okay, so I'm within my personal uh, Facebook ads account right now. Um, the next thing that you need to do, um, there's a lot of different options you have for campaign creation. This is within the ads manager. The easiest way to drive um, messages, not messages, what am I stupid? Messages is to click messages here as the consideration. There's more advanced ways that you can do this, like setting up conversion tracking, and you can actually track um, conversions pretty effectively. Um, there's a way to do that, but I'm not going to go into that here. So you click messages, excuse the truck in the background, then what you're going to do is you're going to say lavender essential oil rank. Okay, we're going to create this new campaign. Okay. Clicks to Messenger is what we're trying to drive here. We're trying to have Facebook optimize our ad budget to get as many messages as possible because every message that you get is a chatbot subscriber. So, all right, we're just gonna leave this all as default because a lot of stuff actually goes into here. Um, the, the custom audiences here, you can actually input your own audience and target them. Um, then there's detailed targeting that you can use. Um, if you wanted to create the most basic launch setup, um, you know, I'd suggest finding who your main competitors are on Amazon. Put the brand name here, and if it matches up, that's going to give you a good um, baseline audience to send this traffic to. A more advanced way to get the, the targeting down more is to target your competitor, and then also people who are a fan of Amazon.com. So your audience would be competitor and likes amazon.com because then that way you know that the person that you're showing the ad to they don't only like your competitors products but they also shop on amazon and you're trying to drive a sale on amazon so this is how you're going to you know improve your metrics a little bit if you're just driving cold traffic um, that sort of audience isn't going to get you the best results in the long run um, you know in my opinion look-alike audiences are where you know all the money's at once you build up your your pixel audience and your your messenger audience um, look like audiences are going to get extremely powerful. Uh, a little advanced stuff, but let's just go into the next section here. Okay, so um, I actually use videos for all of my ads now, except for you know some retargeting ads that I, I use for my course. Sometimes you'll see um, images instead of videos because they work pretty well for that purpose. But we're going to click video. I don't have a video to upload for this um, specific example, but I'm going to show you how to plug in the, the JSON code here. So if you go down here, edit messenger setup, this is what you want to click. And does this look familiar? Well, if you've been paying attention, it should click this. Now we've got a lot of code here. You might be wondering, what do we do now? What you're going to do is you're going to click the very top bracket, select everything, delete it. Now, we've actually copied the JSON code from ManyChat into our, um, our clipboard, so I'm just going to paste it here. So, what happens when somebody clicks this ad, it's going to send our exact message template and subscribe them to our growth tool that we set up in ManyChat. So click Done. And that's basically all you need to do to get that set up. If we had an ad template here, you would see that it's all set up, ready to go. I'm going to pause the video and create one really quickly just for the purposes of demonstration. Okay, so I've just used a stock image um, just for the purposes of showing what this would look like. Um, this is on my personal Facebook page. I'm obviously not going to be advertising this. 80% um, off lavender essential oil. 
when they click the send message button, this should actually um, send them the opt-in JSON messages that we've already created. This is not an ideal image by any um, stretch of the imagination, but let's, um, let's try to preview this actually. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create this ad and I'm gonna preview it on my actual Facebook Messenger to show you what this looks like, okay? Okay, so I published the ad. Um, I clicked a button here that says preview on desktop, um, but I turned the ad off because I obviously don't want to show it. So let's go to my Facebook newsfeed and pull up that ad. Okay, so here was the ad. I clicked send message, and then this message came here. This is the one that we created together. So hi there, are you interested in 80% off discount code? This only works on Amazon for the next 24 hours, so click send me my code, and what should happen? Okay, we are pulling your unique coupon code now. Please give us a moment. This is the eight second delay. You can see it typing. Okay, awesome. We have one code left and reserved it for you. Highlight and copy this code to your clipboard. Okay, so you'll notice there's no code here because I actually don't have any unique code stored for this particular example. Um, if, if you had uh, run through my PDF training and we had set it up, there would be another message in between here with the unique coupon code. Click the button below when you've copied it. So let's just imagine we've copied it. Okay, got it. Use this code in the next 24 hours on Amazon.com. Click on the link below to buy now. Okay, so what happens when we click this link? It should direct us to Amazon, right? There you go. And that's the basic process. If you're looking to know how many products to actually give away uh, per day and how many days to do it, um, I think this is a really good guide um, to, to help you get started on giving out your codes and getting your ranks going. Uh, this is by uh, the founder of Helium 10, uh, Manny Codes. I'm not going to bother to rewrite this entire guide because I think this does a pretty good job of explaining um, the basic process here. So you just go to Google and you type um, Cerebro product rank formula and this should come up. You basically use this formula and the tools he suggests um, in conjunction with uh, this JSON strategy that I mentioned to give out the number of units per day that you need until you rank. So this is a, a more powerful way to do this uh, than the, uh, the methods that um, he discusses here. And I think this is absolutely the best way that you can do this. Um, you know, chatbots and Facebook ads together are extremely powerful. So I think you guys should really invest some time in learning how to do these. If you guys didn't already know, I actually offer um, to students the most advanced um, chatbot and Facebook ads um, program for FBA sellers out there. Um, I'm actually the you know the one who started this whole movement, and I've spent a lot of time actually implementing it and getting it to work for my own products. So um, you know I'm not just uh, you know throwing theory out there. I'm actually throwing real real um, time tested um, flows and um, ads and audience targeting methods that I've used successfully. So if you want to take it to the next level, join my group and um, you know ask me there on how you can um, get started with that. Hope that was helpful guys uh, and I really liked making that video. I think it was a long overdue. Uh, if you found this valuable at all, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, uh, comment on the video, share it with friends, um, you know, let me know if you need any help. Uh, come to the Facebook community, uh, facebook.com slash groups slash uh, amazing funnels. Uh, you know, hope, hope to see you there. You know, hope to hear from you. And more videos coming. If you guys support this uh, and I get a lot of traction, I'll keep making more. So thanks a lot, and I will see you in the group.